Apa khabar semua dan selamat datang to The Khabar Buy Show bersama host anda, Chris MJ. Before we get into this week's episode, I just want to acknowledge someone who commented on last week's video. His name is Faiz Mazli. Now, I have no idea who is in real life, but Faiz commented, Wow, baru tahu channel ni. Gempak lah show ni. Channel ni layak dapat 1 million subscribers. Editing semua gempak. Ish, Faiz ni. Seriously, bro. Bila I baca you punya komen hari tu kan, I terharu tau. Thanks so much, Faiz. Well, before we can get to that 1 million subscribers, we first need to get to some kabar baik. We're starting off with some COVID updates. On the 29th of March, Malaysia's daily cases dropped to 941. Now, this is the lowest daily figure in 4 months. The first time the country saw less than 1,000 new cases since December 9th, 2020. However, the CMCO has been extended yet again till April 14th and yes, this means interstate travel is still not allowed, ladies and gentlemen. So let's keep following the SOPs and keep fighting COVID-19 together. And next, now, I'm not sure if you guys have heard about this, but Copley has decided to sponsor efforts to clean Malaysian rivers. That's right, the British band has sponsored the Interceptor 005 a watercraft designed by the Dutch non-profit The Ocean Cleanup to remove plastic rubbish from our rivers. The Ocean Cleanup founder and CEO Boyan Slat said Malaysia is the first to receive the Interceptor 005, which is the first of two produced for series production and the first of the third generation designed to tackle the world's 1,000 most polluted rivers worldwide. Thank you. We also got to ask the lead singer why he chose to sponsor Cleaning Malaysia's Rivers and here's what he had to say. Yeah, they were all yellow. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest tonight is an award-winning director, writer and more importantly, he's a friend. And here to share his story, please help me welcome Mr. Kavi Raman. Kavi! Hey, my goodness, bro! Long time no see. So long already. It's been what, like a year plus, I think? More than that, actually. More than that lah. Before the MCO, man, how was the pandemic for you? Was it a hit? Oh my god. It, it, it definitely was the hit. It was a hit for the entire film industry, right? Because we couldn't shoot for months. And mm. uh, compared to the essentials, you know, the essential could go on and work. But we had to like stay back home and you know, just work from home. And how, how do filmmakers work from home? Are you even now, to, to do shooting, you need to go for the test? The SOP, everything, huh? But hey, at least now things are slowly coming back, bro. So, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, you did. And that's what we want to talk about tonight. <laughs> so, actually, what uh, many of y'all don't know is Kavi and me uh, studied together lah, in Form 5. We, we went to the same tuition center, Alpha Zone. Eh? Shout out to Legend, Mr. James. Bro. <laughs> shout out to Mr. James. Start, shout out to Mr. What? Bobby, right? Mr. Bobby, Bobby right? Bobby! Bobby Tan! Yo! Come on, man! Yo, I missed this. So my question for you is this. So both of us were in the science stream, right? We were studying physics, bio, chemistry. How oh, did you, you end up... The taboo topic lah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> no, everybody. Go, go ahead. Yeah, taboo I have topic. to go, I have to go. Yeah. So <laughs> how did you, from SPM, from this science stream, end up in the film industry, bro. Did, did you immediately go and study film? Tell us about the experience. Actually, the passion for films goes way back because back when, you know, when, when I was a kid and stuff, I used to... Lion King really inspired me when I was like, what, four? So I started watching movies way, way early, you know, because my, father, my dad was a huge film buff and my family kind of, you know, they were exposed to Hollywood films, to Tamil films, all, all kinds of... So I grew up with films. Lah. So, but of course, like every other Indian household, you have to, you know, be in the science stream to, to, to you know, to, to, that, that's apparently the best place to be, right? correct? So after SPM was when it really hit me because I think I spent nearly eight months, like lost, don't know what to do, you know, because I went to PLKN and stuff like that. I remember going to this uh, 
counselor and the counselor was talking about okay what what do you like and i said i don't know so he gave me a personality test and then i did the personality test and everything and then after it, he was like everything that you choose you know everything that is in this list you are not interested so i i don't know what you are then suddenly he took like a 5 minute break you know he said give me 5 minutes he went for a walk he went for a walk and i was just sitting out there not knowing what to do then he came back and he sat down and he just started with one thing after seeing the list right he was like bro did you watch um, this one film uh, it's made by i don't know it's, it it has these blue people and stuff so i was like oh you mean uh, uh, you know avatar right uh, made by james cameron oh i'm a huge fan of james cameron so i started talking about all movies you know so he was just looking and looking then he was like you found your interest and i was like oh my god what because because yeah it it was a moment of like oh yeah i actually do like film so yeah then it hit me a lot like oh my god this guy actually makes sense but how am i going to tell my parents and how is everyone going to see it because you're a science student how are you going to suddenly mention to the yeah to the art stream right so then yeah then after that, i just told them like uh uh pa my i really want to do this uh, give me give me a, let me try first if i really cannot then i'll go into you know science This was after SPM. Let's fast forward 3 to 4 years. And now yeah. you're directing films, right? And But short films re- now. <laughs> short films, short and films. And yeah, short films and commercials also, yeah. Kavi actually directed the short film called The Dying Artist. Um Kavi, you want to share share with us the whole why you started this this short film and where is it now? Go ahead. You know, finding for your voice is very important. So all my time while I was doing so many different short films and stuff I I I was trying to find that voice like what is my style what is my voice you know and it was very scary because you all else you will become an imitator and not yourself and that is very frightening you know like I wanted to know what is coming directly from the heart uh, there was a time where I was unemployed and I was like very very frightened like yo what if you know with all these ideas that I have in my head and all this this hunger that i have what if i cannot get the chance to make a film anymore like what if i disappear you know what if people forget me so that 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 fear was so powerful in me and i was like becoming very depressed because of that so then i was like oh my god this is i i cannot keep this in me i need to pour it out all this anger this frustration this yeah thing so then i was like okay how what what would be the ideal story from this now i said like, okay what if i become famous you know i i started what if i'm a young guy right making all these hit movies but in my old age i i i'm a nobody what if people forget me you know that 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 thought came and i was like oh this would be a damn nice you know uh, story and then that was the initial idea it was a very weird experience because it's so personal So I was so scared of how people are receiving, but it went on to become something that I didn't know that it would become, which is a uh, it got into festivals and stuff. But you know, getting into festivals is one thing, but it went into this one festival called the Dance of Cinema. Uh, it's in the States, United States. But I didn't like expect anything at all. I I because it's so I'm so prone of uh, uh, you know facing rejections. So I just. sent it then it got into the festival and yeah it, it, it got into multiple nominations and stuff it was crazy because so many people started you know this is an international festival so people from the international circuits were reaching out to me and then people from wow reaching out to me that was crazy bro it really goes all you know to the crew and everyone who made the film because i don't think i could have made make this film without any one of them so And bro, you deserve your whole team, right? This this whole film deserves every single bit of it. I know, I know. You you always think that, um, bro. I'm not a big time. You know, I'm not. A, yes, I I love that because you are super humble. But I just want to say this. I want to say this. You you are you are huge. You you are, you are someone who, not because you're a great director, bro. That one everybody knows. It's your working <laughs> ethic, you know. It's your work ethic because I got a chance to work with you in the, the in the dying artist, and seriously, the way you. carry you know like the way you directed the detail you put into it and i can really see your heart and the passion i think that's the thing, you, the most amazing thing you. bro you just keep bringing it thank in you. and so my final question kavi is this lark to everybody to all the dreamers to all the storytellers out there right who has this passion in film 
and, 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 and you know they might be just finishing their SPM and they're thinking how can I actually get into this industry um, yeah. what is one advice or message that you want to share to all the the 17 year old Kavis out there right now in Malaysia <laughs> watching this wow that's 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 big dude because even I'm I'm, I'm trying to find my place in this uh, whole thing but uh, definitely my 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 film says that and I'm going to say it too which is you know no matter who you are you don't have to be in this art stream you don't have to be in, you know you can you can be doing anything whatever your passion is whatever your interest is just don't let it die man just go for it because in the end of the day it's you you are going to go yeah. through this journey are you going to make it worthwhile that is on you you know so definitely just chase your dream because there's going to be a lot of naysayers you know a lot of people who say says you can't make it even when you're doing a good job you know there's going to be haters for sure there's going to be people who says uh, i don't like you i don't like the stuff you do you know but just push it aside just push those stuff you know away and just focus on what you want to give to the people and what you want to prove to yourself and what you want to pr- prove to everything else because your love uh, your love for your craft is what in the end will you know will will, will radiate to most people there's a lot of people whom I know are struggling with uh, being a, like a doctor and then they want to do business and they have the same problem they're stuck because of the stigma of you know if you study the certain thing you have to be that certain thing no I don't believe that to everyone like uh, whoever's watching and if you feel like you're stuck and stuff just just push that aside and believe in yourself and believe in your passion and believe in whatever that you want to do because that will carry you and bring you to places. I really believe that. I really believe that if you believe in yourself and you believe in giving honest work, right? Not to impress anyone, you know? To give honest work to to, to people, I think I think you go very far in life. So yeah, that's what that's all. Perfect. <laughs> I, I I love that. Uh, I love that, you know, just and and you Kavi, I love that you did you said Think of what you want to give to the people, and that is such, that is the spirit you want to want to have. Like you know, what what can you give? Right now, what can you receive? And I love it. So thank you so much, Kavi, for being here tonight, no bro. Hey, I'm, I'm so you. happy for you. No, I before before we wrap this up, I'm so happy for you, man. You're start, you know, you're starting your own show. You're looking dashing and stuff. You're acting, bro. You're a man of many talents, you know. And I, I, I for me, I just want to see you keep doing. Keep doing your stuff. You're gonna be huge, bro. Just, just keep doing your stuff. This is thank you, this thank is honest. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you, bro. Just do you. Great stuff, Kavi. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen some of his work, check his Instagram out. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's gonna be a big name in the Malaysian film industry. I just know it. And that is all the time we have this week. And hey, if you have Kaba Bai to share or even want to be part of the show, let me know in the comments down below. DM me on Instagram or you can even tweet me at ChrisMJ. Really, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Also, if you enjoyed tonight's episode, do hit the subscribe button as it will really help the show go a long way. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in tonight on the Kaba Bite Show, reminding you that if you look for good news, you'll find it. Good night, everyone. See you next time. The British band has sponsored the Interceptor 005. I can't see it. <laughs> I, I don't know why you can't see. Is it brightest already? Are you? Nice, Yeah. Hi, ladies and gentlemen.